Greetings, and welcome to the video. There's a couple of formulas for how many motorbikes a person should own. My favorite, for humor purposes, is no one should own motorbikes after 50. 50 motorbikes is enough. The most common formula is the N plus 1 formula, where N equals the amount of motorcycles you currently own. I think the best and most practical formula, however, is the right tool for the job. Leave a comment detailing which formula you use, and if it's one that I didn't list, leave a little explanation of the formula too. Maybe I'll adopt yours. The way I, I use right tool for the job formula is pretty easy. I take an inventory of the t kind of roads in my area. I have three types of roads that are the most common, unpaved, including those that are maintained, usually by the county and or people who live off the road two-lane paved highways that go through small towns and villages ranging from 25 mile an hour to 50 mile an hour. And then interstate, which is 65 miles per hour in Vermont and 70 miles per hour in New Hampshire. Based upon this inventory, it's really easily explained that I have three motorcycles. The 2011 BMW G650 GS is a wonderful bike to take on dirt roads and the paved roads to get there or the roads that are both have paved and unpaved sections. The 2020 Kawasaki W800 is a wonderful two-lane highway and town village city bike that is easy to maneuver, park, and has plenty of go with no windscreen. And the 2003 R1200CL, which is a heavy cruiser touring bike that excels at interstate speeds and taking a passenger with plenty of luggage. The issue comes up when being practical. How do I justify a fourth bike? I could just use the N plus one formula and say I don't need to justify it. Another bike is always awesome. I could use the right tool for the right job and say I don't have a sport bike. The part I struggle with is I don't really have road conditions that justify a sport bike. Unless I drop the CCs down to a level that made sense on one of the above road conditions, which I already have a bike that does awesome on two-lane highways, village, town, and city roads. I could use the type of motorcycle engine. I have a Thumper, a true parallel twin, boxer twin, so obviously I need a triple, a four-cylinder, and maybe even a six-cylinder, and then I'll be good. Maybe what the situation calls for is to subcategorize the three types of roads. For unpaved roads, there are also fire roads, logging roads, single track, class whatever off-road, usually traveled only by 4x4s and dirt bikes or ATVs. For paved two-lane highway, village, town, and city roads, there are mountain roads with twisties and farmland roads with long sweepers. Interstates are just kind of interstates, but there is a difference between a sport touring bike and a full-on heavy cruiser tourer. For me personally, the heavy cruiser tour it makes more sense because it doesn't have to lean forward that gets comfortable around 70 miles an hour. And slowing down to get off the interstate to destinations doesn't put the extra weight on my hands that was relieved from 70 mile an hour oncoming winds. So what do I think my next bike will be? I don't know yet. However, I have figured out the formula I prefer to use. Is it the best tool for the job? So there's that. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please think about leaving a like and subscribe. It really is the best way to help my tiny little channel. Keep the shiny side up, the rubber side down, and keep it wheel.